Today we are reacting to Matt Armstrong's car collection and his recent rise to YouTube fame. I love Matt Armstrong. I like Matt Armstrong as well. And, but, before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Slap that bell to keep up to date. We need a thousand subscribers. We do. And if you are looking to buy or sell your car in the UK, please visit www.suvprestige.co.uk. Right, on with the video. Show me Matt Armstrong's things. This is really where my YouTube channel began. I bought the TT back from the insurance and decided to document the rebuild on YouTube. And oh, did I have fun doing that. It improved my mechanical knowledge and my ability to make videos for YouTube. I really fell in love doing it. So much so that after I'd finished the Audi TT, I bought an Audi S5, which needed a lot of work. I couldn't believe there was people which enjoyed following my builds as much as I enjoyed making the video. The kids are grafter. And obviously, this was what, three years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, four yeah, years, three ago. years ago. He's nearly a million subscribers. Everybody loves watching cars get built, it's just a thing. Where he's really good is, it's like a how to do it yourself video, but yeah. it like follows the story, but all. I, I, he's absolutely smashed it, his concept's class. That is gopping though <laughs> it's not a nice rap is it no he wrapped it himself <laughs> bless him. i think that was his first time rapping was, yeah. um not a fan but to say he's like self-taught he wasn't mechanic was he uh no i think he worked at his dad's place a little yeah bit. but he wasn't he like wasn't a trained there. mechanic it's very impressive do you know what matt armstrong is on youtube he's like crack he's really addictive to he's like it? crack yeah. youtube crack Wow, that is, um, so that's the S5. That's the S5 that he did, yeah. That wasn't written off. No, it was just very, it needed a lot of TLC, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's probably worth about 10 grand. Yeah. Maybe less than that now. Um, yeah, it's probably about 10 grand. I like uh, the colour. I like the, I used to have a bike that colour. BMX. Oh, a little BMX. Yeah, it got nicked. Yeah. Start a bet for you, innit? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's awful. I don't like the stripe either. No, I'm not a fan of the stripe colours like that, though. Yeah, the colours are nice, don't like the stripe. Other than that, pretty cool. <laughs> and that is right, guys. The title is right. The thumbnail is right. I have bought a Bentley GT Continental. A bit of a wild card, I know. <laughs> right, that's brave. Yes, yeah, so you bought it for 10 grand. I mean, it's absolutely written off, but 10 grand for a Bentley GT is pretty <laughs> mental. It's a lot of car for the money, isn't it? A lot of car. Ballsy move. Big balls. Especially in the Massive pee pee. What was happening at the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but everything else. No one knew what was going on. Fair play to, I love yeah. that. Anyway, so the Bentley, um, mm -hmm. it is knackered. Yeah, it's had a big old shunt, hasn't it? The thing with Bentley as well is obviously we sell a lot of Bentleys and when things go wrong or they need fixing, parts are expensive, man. Not cheap. I know he gets a lot of his stuff from breakers yards and stuff, doesn't he? Anyway, <laughs> let's see this finished. That's cool. Yeah, I like what he's done with it there. I mean, I love Bentleys anyway. Those, I like those wheels. I'm not sure what they are. Me neither. I think they're like 23 inches, something stupid. <laughs> they look really good. So where is he there? Monaco? It's or Monaco, yeah. They Monaco. fixed it. He took it on the road trip to Monaco. Yeah, I love that. That's the other thing. What, he's, what, he, what he did is he's just decided, I love cars. I love doing this. I'm going to take a risk, put more money into it, and then I'm just going to like do it to the max. Yeah. It was proving that he's, he's done a decent job and it was reliable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Why not go to Monaco? Class. Love Class. That. I love a road trip. <laughs> Yes, I bought another project. Full on granddad spec. Very granddad spec. Right, that is, there's an hour on with that though. No, it's uh, I think it was the cheapest A forty five without a title in the country. So it's not been written off, not, not been written off, not been crashed. Um, just cheap. Just cheap. There were like again, just no one looked after it, so there were a lot of mechanical stuff. Maybe. Yeah, mechanic just basically needed yeah, a bit of fettling, yeah, bit of mechanical service work yeah. and job done. Right, let's see it finished. I mean, it's less grand than spec. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bonnet. Yeah, the carbon bonnet. The bonnet's pretty gross. Um, what are they worth now? 
I don't even have, I've, I haven't looked at that age, A45 in a while. At the time he paid 15 grand for that. I mean, it's probably worth about the same, if not slightly, mm, maybe, a, maybe a bit more. So it's got like, they legit A45, the upgraded wheels, the nice ones. They look legit, they, they might not be. Yeah, he tends to get them aftermarket, doesn't he? Uh, the bonnet's f***ing awful. Because he tinted, I, that's the other thing. I hate tinted headlights. I do, I don't see the point in that. I hate tinted lights, full stop. I hate that. Um, he, he hasn't done full aero kit though. He's got the he's spoiler. Got a spoiler, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'd just, maybe if he didn't have the black bonnet, the carbon bonnet, whatever it is, it'd be a bit better. Yeah, I just don't like the carbon bonnet. Other than that, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't mind their 45. They're all right. He's chaffed it though. He's gone from grand aspect to chaffed aspect, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Probably that's probably about fourteen grand, fifteen grand. No, we slap that up. What was the other one? I can't remember. Okay. Well, I've said it. It'll be up there. <laughs> it's right, guys. This yeah, is this a bit of a surreal moment. We've got a Bentley Continental GT and a Maserati Gran Turismo now on the channel and on the drive. That is a proper Maser as well. It's in like a I don't know what that colour's called. Or Bugini. It's so like a metallic yeah. maroon with like a proper cream interior. <laughs> it's a proper Maserati spec, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what a 60 odd year old retired <laughs> banker drives for CERN. The engine in that sounds absolutely mega. Yeah, it's a Ferrari it's engine. Um, another controversial comment from me. Don't like Maserati. No, I agree with you on that. I think they yeah. sound wicked though. Um, so that car there, what's that, about 20 grand? Yeah, somewhere around there. You can pick them up really cheap now. I think that was a cheap one. I think it was about yeah, 20 grand. It was the cheapest um, in the UK, wasn't it? And then he's absolutely, in the eyes of the world, destroyed that car to the point it's probably worth about 30 quid now. But I love it. I do as well. So this is what he did with this. And that's why that car's uh, controversial. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Brian May called him a knob. Not Brian May. <laughs> James May. James May. <laughs> Brian May's the guitarist from Queen. Sorry, Brian. Yes. <laughs> well, I keep the watch. So, um, yeah, that's why that car was controversial. That is a Liberty Walk kit. If you know who Liberty Walk are, they're a Japanese body kit manufacturer, tuner. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, we met them at uh, Goodwood, some of the guys from the company. I like Liberty Walk, some of it. You, yeah, you've summed it up perfectly there. Yeah. Some of it's too much. Yeah, a lot of it, yeah. to be fair. Um, but he wanted a Liberty Walk car. He, like, This is what I love about Matt Armstrong. He doesn't really give a shit what other people like. No. He does what he likes and for him, and I love that. He wanted a Liberty Walk car, but Liberty Walk kits, if you don't know, cost like... Bags of cash, like Not 30, cheap, 40, 50, 100 grand in some instances. Um, that was that was a cheaper one. I think it was still about 15 grand or something. I think he said it's the cheapest Liberty Walk you can get if you spend that car. I don't know. Eight, so that's why yeah, I don't know how much you <laughs> spend, but it was, it, it was a lot of cash. I think it looks ace. Yeah, the yeah. wheels are class. They're proper girthy, aren't they? Have you seen them off the car? They're like, yeah, they're massive. Yeah. It looks wicked. And it, he's bagged it. Grew his channel nearly yeah. a million now. Um, what's that car worth? Again, that's another car, that's what someone's willing to pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, that's worth a lot more tin than it would be monetary yeah, value. Yeah. So let's value it at a million <laughs> because he loves it. <laughs> let's turn the camera around. Yeah, that's shiny. <laughs> that's right, yeah, that's an Audi R8. I assume it's a V8. It's a V8. Gated manual. Right, he's got the right so gearbox. Right gear yeah. Okay. See it finished though. Get on this road trip. I love this. What the f is that colour? That like mustard. <laughs> it's like eerily. Do you know what that looks like? Go on. You know when you've had a korma? <laughs> Don't want to know where this is. A korma and an ambred. <laughs> a little pishwari naan. A little bit of korma. Morning after. I love it. That's one of my favourite builds he's done. Roof, he, roof boxes are cool on any car. Roof box cool. The 
The wheels are Wheels are, are, are class. He's put a little Maxton kit on. Appreciate that because it's just subtle, cheap, wicked little way to make your car look cool. Um, but the colour is like Corman <laughs> slash custard. <laughs> I love the colour. I think it's it. I don't. I think it's gross. But I like the wheels though. I knew you'd say that, so keep playing. Okay, so he's gone for a Nardo-ish grey. It looks more blue. Yeah. There's a bit more blue in there. It's a bit more um, dolphin grey from somebody. Yeah. Can't move. Um, and then he's put like a R8 V10 Plus style wing on the back. Still on the same ones. I, I rate that. Um, that car's pretty cool. I really like Can't it. Like wrong with the I, I prefer it with the other wrap on it. It'd be better if it's a V10. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, what's that worth now? There, if it wasn't written off, forty-five, fifty. Grand. Between fifty to sixty, depending on mileage. Yeah, they're still decent money. For uh, high forties to high forties, mid fifties, I'd say. Up to sixty if it was really low yeah. miles. Maybe more if it was really low yeah. miles. But it's been written off, so it's not worth any of those numbers. <laughs> it's um, probably about twenty quid. It's probably about twenty grand. <laughs> it probably is. It's probably about twenty grand. That's <laughs> I love this one. That is knackered. Stolen this one, wasn't it? I was going to say, 1000% has been nicked and crashed. Their bags have gone off. <laughs> See, right, I watched this entire build. This is, you know, when you told me about him? Yeah, I was telling you for weeks to watch him, wasn't it? Yeah, I went onto YouTube, cracked onto his channel, subscribed immediately because you'll have a look at his channel. If you aren't already, you probably are. Um, and then I watched this entire build. I love a golf. A Mark. Eight Mark eight point five, I think. Is that the one? Seven seven point five. Seven seven point five. You hit the mark eight. Oh do I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> seven seven point five. Um I love them. I had one for ages, one of my favourite cars, and yeah, this thing was class to watch. This is the one I was like, this is like crack. I started watching it on a night, had dinner, in bed, half three in the morning finished the series, <laughs> like stupid. It's so addictive, isn't it? Right, let's see this thing finish, because I love it. I mean this is properly knackered. Yeah, he's, they've done it right, whoever's nicked it and crashed it, haven't they? Standard. <laughs> Everyone that nicks these cars seems to crash it anyway. I don't know what the point is, you end up in jail as well. And you can't keep it, idiots. Right, that is class. I love it. I love the colour, I love the wheels, I love the kit. I like how subtle it is. It's aggressive but subtle. That's why that I love sense. golfs. And they drive absolutely. I mean, didn't he, he did the performance bits to it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I can't really. Yeah, did he just he, tune it or something? He did, I think he did a tune and it definitely put an exhaust on yeah, it because he's on a um, um, But yeah, they, they were fairly quick out. I, I, that's probably one of my favourite ones. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's up there with mine. This, I, think, I think this is one of the ones that absolutely like rocketed him. Oh, yeah, definitely. Everyone loves a golf, don't they? Yeah, it's impossible not to love them. If you are looking for a Golf R, by the way, we always stock them. Have a look at www.suvprestige.co.uk. Um, I love that car. Really good. Being written off, but that is like a lot of them. Uh, yeah, they still fetch a lot of money, even when they're written off. It's probably about between 12 to 16. Because yeah, that's the first. What someone's willing to pay for it. Right, next. Oh my days. This is like, what? I don't even know what to say. It's absolutely unreal. I love that. And I, look, you can just see on him what that means to him. He's actually speechless for once. Yeah, yeah. You no, can see he's getting a bit of emotion and stuff. That's is. absolutely <laughs> class. And unfortunately, I'm actually going to destroy his dream there. I don't want to ruin the moment, but that is a <laughs> car. I've driven a lot, yeah. Gallardo and I wasn't impressed. That was the car that ruined my dreams of cars. Never meet your heroes. That was one of those. <laughs> no. What colour's my Lambo belt? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I love that. I love that. So there's nothing wrong with that. No, he bought it from a dealership. Right, that's probably worth what they worth now. I've, I've, to be fair, I don't like Gallardos, Gallardos. Whatever you want to call um, it. I'm going to have a quick look. Bear with me because I aren't sure. It was a 2012 one. Right, it's, I mean, it's about 100 grand plus then. 100 grandish. That's really cool. I, I love the fact that he's done that. Um, okay. So th there was nothing wrong with that. It's no. probably paid around about 100 grand for it in black. It's a Lambo. Whether they're any good or not doesn't matter. It's still no, a it's Lambo. It's game, still a very cool car. He's done two things which completely oppose each other. He's massively devalued it. Yes. And massively increased its price to the right person. 
Yeah. Right. <laughs> Watch 22. Let's go. Once Ricky had warmed the Gordo, I did not expect what was about to happen next. Here's the result. Wow. Right. That's <laughs> so a thousand to one brake horsepower. In a re he, he also <laughs> yeah. converted to rear wheel drive, didn't he? Yes. Ballsy move. I've got some stories with these. I won't mention some of them because uh, they're pretty sad. But um, rear, wheel light, rear wheel drive cars, when they're that light and they are... You've got V10 in it. Yeah, you're over... Anything over 600 brake horsepower... Um, it is a different kind of <laughs> fast, and it, they're very, very, very scary. Over anything over six hundred brake, rear wheel drive is scary. I don't care who you are, like yeah. they are a risky car to 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 pace. But mm -hmm. thousand that, horsepower, yeah. rear wheel drive, the the <laughs> lad is a nutter. I love that. Yeah, I you love would, that. You would want to go. Well, you would want to go flat out in it, but damn right, you've got big old balls. I would do it in the wet. That is a car you take you would, out when it's dry. You would need the most hottest day of the year on the smoothest piece of road. Yeah, you, 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 you'd only be able to drive like in the dry. One thousand percent. Yeah, you wouldn't need. Yeah. Yeah, you ready to do this? Well, the start is cold. They said you've got 10 days to get 1,000 horsepower out of it and wrap it. Ah, uh, is that what it was? Yeah. I can't remember now. But yeah, no, that is... See, imagine, right, if you're a car guy and you were born in the 90s slash 80s, you probably played Need for Speed. I love Need for Speed Underground 2 on PS2. Shift was my favourite. That was my favourite game as a, as a child. Absolutely loved it. Shift was cool because, you know, we can work the car. It was all about actual mm. racing, like yeah. the racing lines. Everything. I loved that game. Anyway... To be sponsored by them to do that is so freaking cool. Is, isn't it? So say, like you say, to say we're fixing cars in his driveway, so now Need for Speed are wanting to be involved with it. Yeah, the other thing I like is he's he's got a Lambo and he's wrapped it what most people consider absolutely awful. Mm -hmm. But a Lambo's supposed to be awful, I think. It's supposed it's, it's supposed to point of it, Yeah, it? the point is to, you're supposed to be garish, you're supposed yeah. to be a bit of That's why you get one over a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a yeah, thousand percent. Yeah. It's the supercar. <laughs> Half a car back then, and I've slowly rebuilt it and modified it to this. Went on to modify the absolute hell out of it, including loads of performance modifications, and one of them includes a hybrid turbo. I love that. Right, I first mean, off, that colour exactly was the colour my BMX got stolen. It's like, it's sort of like a Luna Seca blue, isn't it? I love that colour. I do. I love that colour on cars. Yeah. It's so good. I love the wheels. Yeah, fitting them right. I so love the, the kit because you put an M2 <clears throat> front bumper on it. Yeah, and an M2 style rear bumper. So it's like basically it looks like an M2 hatchback. Yeah. And I think it looks wicked. Yeah, BMW should have built that car. BMW. I should have done that. Mm -hmm. um, like hatchbacks, he's absolutely class. He's got, he has got good taste. Sometimes a little bit chavvy, but Some, yeah, sometimes it's <laughs> really. Yeah, loads of people gonna be watching this like, what you like, cars, <laughs> weirdo. I am a bit of a like. I appreciate a chaffed car. We've all been there, don't we? I just like We've it. All I don't chaffed know. a car up. Value forgot. Um, again, whatever someone's willing to pay, rather. Yeah, 15, 20 grand again, similar to the one. Maybe more? No, nah, probably less. <laughs> another car! Right, You're next. joking! Not another one! <laughs> <laughs> what I just bought. Oh! I love E46s. This one's really good too. Both one of mine and your favourite cars. Yeah. Absolutely love E46. It's the best Beamer they've ever made. Yeah. And it's the <coughs> pre facelift. Yeah, 2002. Laguna Seca Blue. Yep. Yeah. Um, Manual, not the SMG. Which is absolutely mm -hmm. essential. Good, some of those. Um, 
I we both had these, haven't we? Have you had one of these? I've, my dad had them when I was growing up. You've owned one, I'm yet to. Not one. an M3. I had the three thirty CI Club Sport, mm -hmm. which basically looks yeah, yeah, almost yeah. exactly the same as that, apart from it wasn't as wide or as fast or sounds as good. CSL wheels, yeah. alright. Yeah. Alpha Tower's got subtle mods on this one. Yeah, Richard Hammond had it once, didn't he? Yeah, he took it to um, Richard Hammond's, is it the smallest cog? Yeah, whatever it is, yeah. And they critiqued it. And give it a so rating. He's got some, he's basically restored it to roughly factory spec. So he's gone yeah. for like, he, he reverted the, the indicators back to the orange indicators. Um, it's obviously got BMW CSL wheels, M3 CSL wheels on it, but that shape, that wheel, in my opinion, could be one of the best examples of a wheel matching a car yeah. to perfection that's ever existed. I, yeah, I love them wheels. If I had an E46, that'd be the first thing I'd do. Thousand percent. Yeah, 20 to 30. They're going up. They're going up, yeah. That colour, though, Laguna Seca, that's, that's a rare colour, yeah. yeah. Let's call it... Call it 20. Meet in the middle? 24k. About 24 grand, yeah. Slap it up there. Bought the cheapest 718 Cayman S in the whole entire country. When you buy your Porsche, you buy it because you want one, not because you need one. I'm beginning to think <laughs> I don't want this. Like, who's going to look at that and think, oh, you're not going to buy that and fix it? He, there wasn't a single panel on there apart from the bonnet. That needed replacing, I think. They had to de-skin the roof and take the roof off. Yeah, yeah, no, I, well, I watched this entire one. This one, this one was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. He's an absolute madman. I mean, that car is... First things first, I love Porsche over everything. I think we both do, don't we? Yeah. So we're massive Porsche fans. Best car brand ever. Probably yeah. one of the best brands ever. Agreed. Um, they're the greatest car manufacturer of all time, in my opinion. I don't care what anybody says. The GT4 is one of my favourite cars of all time, without question. He's basically turned that car into a GT4 looking car with the new GT4 style swan neck wing. Which is massive. In a mint colour, S class Signal wheels. Signal yellow, is it? Signal that yellow, yeah. yeah. That car, that is beautiful, that car. I like the arches and the wheels. <laughs> Oh, is that an M4? Mm -hmm. Is it? <laughs> Look at his face though. He's the only man <laughs> who smiles at a car turning up on a low load like that. The merchant, my new car, <laughs> absolutely over the moon, and that's what rolls off. Oh, that. Yeah. I like this. I like M4s. I love those wheels. I really like the colour. Is that Alaman Green? Uh, or no, it's, it's, cl it's close. It's close to it. It's like a really dark metallic green, isn't it? But. I love the wheels. Green cars are cool. I like them. Don't like yeah. the wing on that though. Uh, Too much for me. Yeah, a little bit need for speed, but uh, the kit's nice. The rest of it. Yeah, yeah it looks really smart. Without if, if that wing wasn't on there, and it was just a nice little lip spoiler. Yeah, the little carbon, yeah. little carbon lips and stuff. Yeah, um, I like that. That's really cool. Again, that's been really off. I don't know. It's probably about twenty grand. Yeah. And this is one of my favourites. This this will probably surprise some people mm -hmm. from me. GT86. Does that surprise you? No. Right. Um, Only yeah. because I know you though. Yeah. Yeah, that is uh, a GT86 uh, that's had its front end ripped off. It's probably not as, it's probably not that bad actually. No. I can't remember, I can't remember this video. I've watched literally, or oh, I've binge watched this entire channel. Great little cars to drive by the way, the GT86. Yeah, they're, they're slow as anything. They're like 200 brake or something You've like got that. Got a proper rev it out, but yeah, quite fun. Yeah, rear wheel drive, apparently they're tail happy even only with 200 brake. I love that. White wheels, carbon bonnet, the back. Do you, do you know the back? Mm. Do you know what happened with that? 
So he bought a new diffu diffuser and all these other bits and bats. It didn't quite fit. And then he's like, mm, what do I do? Or back bumper, one of the two. Or the diffuser on the back bumper he bought to replace, but the, the diffuser that's built into the bumper is built in, so he had to cut yeah, it out. Yeah. And then what he decided to do instead was fit that sort of rear crash bar, which that very bottom bit in the middle is actually for... Yeah. He had a little bomb bit there. Um, that's for jacking it up to take the wheels off to put new wheels oh, on at drift events. Oh, right, okay. That's quite cool then. And to drag it out of gravel that pits. Gravel, yeah, yeah. I love that car. Wicked. That's my least favourite one he's done, I'll be honest. But it's not my cup of tea. No, it's one of my favourites. Wicked. Really like that. So he bought this for his mate. Can you imagine me rocking up and going, what are your present, Harry? I know what it is, but like, you know if you didn't know what it was, yeah. other than the badge on the wheel, yeah. it's hard. It could be a Seat, but it could it, be anything. You won't have a clue. It, so that's an S three. S three saloon, yeah. Bagged it. Wheels were alright. Maxed them side skirts. Purple, black. Like a satin candy. Uh, Cadbury's purple, isn't it? Yeah. Um. It's alright. Okay. So that's absolutely written off. Written off. It's probably worth about twelve grand. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about. Okay. So that is a C63, mm -hmm. 6.2 litre mm -hmm. V8, not 6.3 as it says on the side because of the line. Um, I mean, it's written off, but I mean, the wheel's dangling off. Doesn't look too bad, does it? No. I love the fact that every time he buys one, he and it's absolutely in pieces, he just lets it like <laughs> over the moon with his new purchase. If I ever crash my car, I'm, I'm giving him a ring. <laughs> hey, up, <mate. laughs> so that is a Black Series He's put the kit replica on, hasn't kit. He? Yeah. I doubt it's a real one. I mean, nah, it would be very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got, he's put the full aero kit on it as well. That I don't think oh. is a legit rear spoiler. Probably doesn't. Yeah. Um, it looks a little bit high there. I assume he's lowered it after this. Yeah. Photo. Um, yeah, I love the colour too. He's gone for like a that is chrome Alman green. Is that it? Was B, that's BMW Alman green. But it looks chrome. It's it's not. It's got it painted BMW Alman green. Oh really? That's yeah. really cool. It does on that picture. Black. I think it might be the edit. Yeah, maybe um, the edit. It does look it chrome. Chrome, doesn't it? Probably worth about eight k. Eight to ten k. Yeah. I was going to say, what is that? But that's the Aston Martin. <laughs> the, Aston Martin, the front yeah. end, you can't tell. But yeah. Uh, that's not that bad. It, it was a lot worse than what you thought, though. It wouldn't start when it got delivered. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's something it's not good, is it? He's done a mega job on that. I, I quite really like that. that. I, I liked watching this one. He's, so he's kept the wheels legit, which is a bit mad. He normally changes the first thing he yeah. does. Wrapped it in like a satin red. red. It's nice. I like that. Everything gloss black. Didn't he take this to Aston Martin? Yeah, he took it to Aston Martin for an inspection. Because he was there a lot buying parts off them, he yeah. got to know them and then he says, oh, well, when you've done it, bring it down and we'll right. do it. Because it was still on the service plan from the previous owner. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. service there as well. And yeah. did an inspection whilst he was at it. And they were like... Again, they were amazed. Yeah, they were amazed at how we did it. I, don't know. I reckon even written off, I bet that's still a 60 grand car. 50, 60? Yeah. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> right, so this this is a Lamborghini Murcielago. Lamborghini Murcielago. Uh, that was used as a track car. It was never written off as much as it well, looks like yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, there was no engine in it. No. The engine came in a box. They were rebuilding it, weren't they? He's mm -hmm. still doing this one. Yeah. Um, that car's going to be worth an awful lot of money when that's done. Do you know how much you pay for it? 100 grand. Oh. It's going to be worth an, a lot of money, that car, when he's, when he's done with it, if he does it right. Yeah, no. It'll be taking a while to get there. That's so. very cool, though. Mercy's are cool. Lamborghini Mercy. This is the latest one, isn't it? <laughs> an M5 competition. What has that person hit? It looks like they've hit the back of a, an elephant. <laughs> back of an elephant. Um, they've, they've hit something, that's for sure. So they're at the moment about 60, 70k. Yeah. Um, but in that state, how much you pay for that, do you know? I've, to, I'll be honest, I've not watched any of this one. It's got about 20, 30k. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not worth a lot. It's I mean, that, that. that's. Right, so total up there. Don't know what it is, don't add it up. Um, Matt Armstrong's car collection, rise to fame. Um, I'm not surprised. If you haven't seen all of his. Um, 
all of his YouTube channel already. We'll link that below. Go go watch it. If you like cars, you like watching them getting fettled and modified or whatever, watch it. It's class. He's, he's amazing, isn't he? He's like, yeah. like say, um, where he's come from in three years. I think he's grown by like 200,000 subscribers in like a month or two. Yeah, it's mad. He's, he's not far off a million at all, so... And it's Fair play to him, 100%. He's got one of the most interesting channels on YouTube right now in the car world. In the car niche, he's like my favourite yeah, guy at the moment. Agree. He's brilliant. Love his content. He's a great guy. And go watch it. Right, that's it from us. Matt Armstrong, love you. Class, class content. And we'll see you on the next one.